Praise the Lord God Almighty. God is faithful at all times and He cares for us. He is our Father. And because He is our Father, He has always something in store for us to make sure that His children are fed, nourished, and taken care of. That's why we, are joined, we have joined together this afternoon so that our Father may minister to us through His servant. God is faithful because He's always given our bishop a word and the word which is relevant for our time. And this afternoon, God will not fail. We must always do it in the same way, in a different way, because God is faithful. Our bishop is ready to minister the word of God and he's coming live from Apostolic Faith Church, Bahati Nairobi, Kenya. And we thank God because of his faithfulness that he has opened a door for our bishop to be an instrument to be used by him for the sake of the church of Christ in the whole world. Let us pray and then welcome our bishop. Father, we thank you. We honor your name. Thank you for this opportunity you have given to us. We bow before you, King of glory, that as we receive your servant, our hearts are going to be nourished, uplifted, and healed according to your will. Minister to your servant, O God, and bless him for the sake of your holy name. We honor your name and glorify you. Just name we pray. Amen. Let us now welcome our bishop to minister the word of Thank God. You. Welcome, bishop. God bless you. Thank Amen. You. God bless you. Ah, wonderful. It's good to serve the living God and to remain in his presence. Ah, I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo. We are now sharing more about this topic, receiving clear favor with God. Last time we share from Genesis chapter 37 and 39 about Joseph. And I trust that you follow up to know that there's a unique, a unique uh, characteristic or unique favor or unique sign of God's confirmation or status from God that followed the life of Joseph. In Genesis chapter 39, the Bible says, and the Lord and and Joseph became a successful man. That is Genesis 39 verse 2. And eventually Potiphar had to make him in charge of everything. For all things succeeded in his hands. You notice that if you follow the Lord to favor. Um, if you go to verse 7. And I want to just to highlight this. Bible says, it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph and she said, lie with me. I just want to highlight this. That this happened after these things. With these things, confirmation of favor, when, did, when the dream started working, the dream for life, the Rema word for Joseph started working and it was seen all things prospered in his hands until he was made the key manager of all what Potiphar had. After these things, those things, after it is so clear that now your dream has to work, that's when you get into what we call the test of this world. I mentioned in 1st John chapter 2 verse 16, the Bible says all that is in the world can be classified in three areas. The last of the eye, the, the, the last of the flesh, and the pride of life. Go to any city in this world. Go to Florida, go to Los Angeles, go to Tokyo, go to Sydney, go to Johannesburg, Nairobi, every place. People are preoccupied pied with the last. Last is so sweet to human feelings. People want to misuse the gifts of God for last. And that's why when John the Apostle was an old man, he was concluding things with authority. He is saying now I can speak with authority. All that is in the world is last of the eye, the last of the fresh and the pride of life. And I noticed Satan used that, the three tests in Adam and Eve, Genesis chapter 3. Because the three that 
used to be a warning. The yardstick of righteousness, the yardstick of allegiance to the law, the, the, the test of, of following, fearing God. Satan, when allowed by Eve, led her into another thing, totally opposite. One, Satan said, you will not die. When God says, when you touch or eat, of that tree ye shall die. Satan said you will not die. And because the woman was low spiritual, that's another problem. If you keep, you have to keep the favor for your dream, you need to also notice. You need to be strong spiritually. That's why your people who used to preach heal the sick and they fall. Because the gift, the reward, the favor for your life also requires formed, disciplined life, habit. Like what Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 27, he says, when I throw my, when, when, he says, run to obtain. He doesn't throw his blows to the air. He says, I box the, I don't box the air, but I work on my own body. So that after preaching to others, I may not be cast out. Why body? Because that's where the last of the eye, the last of the, of the flesh, and the pride of life operates. Paul said, I know if I don't work on my body, I may not end up in favor of gift, favor of gospel, favor of God's calling. Anybody who ends up well, like the way Paul ended up in 2 Timothy chapter 4, uh, verse, verse 7. It says, I have kept the faith. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I now go to receive the crown of righteousness, which the good Lord has kept for me, and for all those who wait for his appearance. You cannot end up that way. If you do not, you did not, Pass what the Bible says. After these things, which ones? When it is confirmed that favor for your gift is working, you need to overcome the three tests. Because Adam and Eve judged by allowing the devil to use, to arouse these three things. And the Bible says, the woman, when he looked back to the tree, after, after entertaining presence of the evil one. He was, he was about to, the Bible says, he saw the fool, the tree was pleasing to the eye. That is the last of the eye. Number two, she was able to say, it was good for food, last of the flesh. And it is good to make one wise. That is pride of life. She fell in the tree. Satan took over. And the devil comes back now in Luke chapter 4 and Matthew chapter 4 after Jesus has finished fasting. He always comes after these things. Why did Jesus go for 40 days fasting? To begin his ministry. No man in this world has ever started the ministry. Clear use of God without not having a moment with Jesus in prayer and fasting. Jesus, you always demand, can you be with me for some time? Christ did not go for prayer and fasting to meet the devil. He went there to prepare for the ministry. That's what the Bible says. If you, go, if you go to Luke chapter 4, I think verse 14, the Bible says, and Jesus, after overcoming Satan, went back to Galilee with power. And the news spread all over about the power he has. But you see, you need, if you have the favor for the gifting, to overcome the test. And in Luke chapter 4, Bible says, uh, 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 Satan used the three ways he applied on Adam and Eve. Turn blood, turn stones to blood, lust of the flesh. Christ overcame. Throw yourself down. Uh, throw yourself down and angels, you hold you up and whatever. That is, that is that is what we call pride and, 
And Christ overcame that. And, and therefore brought aloud all kingdoms as their glory. I said, Christ, why don't you bow to me and I give you this? That is the last of the eye. Christ, that is the pride of life. Christ overcame that. And the Bible says that that time when Satan came around, Jesus added, and, and Satan added all the temptations. And Christ said, Satan, get behind me. And angels started ministering to Jesus. Any man who will add up in favor, we experience what we see in Genesis chapter 13 verse 7. After these things, the master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph. So that Joseph will do something. This woman was not proposing for dinner. Let's go out for a cup of coffee. She's proposing something that you do. And the favor ends. Lie with me. I know. I know. I know. Uh, you know, we've been preaching now for many years. And I remember there's one of the church members who came to me and said, Bishop, I don't know how you are surviving. Because there are, there are satanists that were sent to kill me just because I'm starting 10,000 city church. I said, Bishop, I was sent to kill you before you start this mighty, godly, powerful project of 10,000 city church. And he said, I cannot die. And I destroyed those powers. Now I was told by somebody who measured my name somewhere in a meeting. And two women came up and said, You mean you know Bishop Gatimo? Yes. We were sent to destroy him right in his office. But that man, we couldn't even network with his feelings. We couldn't even, he, the power of God could not allow us to access him. And now, these are women who visit key bishops and men, apostles right in the office. And you are both in the office. And there's what they do. And you end up in what we call lie with me. They said they were given two months. And they were coming on the day when bishop, when I always minister to people one by one. And by the authority of God. And the love to see Jesus. They said we, I overcame. I didn't know who they were. But one of them said he entered my, she entered my office. And she almost corrupt, corrupted. He said they gave up. But the, what now worries me is because those are satanist women in Nairobi assigned to destroy bishops who are rising up to face the devil to, to, to do great projects through what we call lie with me. When? After these things, not before these things, with these projects, mighty revival, confirmation that God is moving. I pray anybody who has favor with God, watch out what we call lie with me, overcome it. I thank God for Joseph in verse 8. It says, He refused, not only refusing. He made a declaration. said, Madam, you are my master's wife. You are post Potiphar's wife. You should have the truth for your marriage and the right senses. You are somebody's wife. We need to overcome by truth and righteousness. And Joseph said, how can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? God must be seen right where you are. If even nobody is around. The presence of God. The anointing of God. The right of God. And of course Joseph was thrown into prison. Because this lady reacted. And when in the prison. Something was powerful there. The Lord was with Joseph. That is powerful. See verse 21. 
the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy when he had to suffer for the favor. Suffer for righteousness. The Lord was with Joseph and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prisoner. The one who is supposed to make you suffer in prison, God comes around because you never sinned, you never fornicated, the dream is still powerful. What would have killed the dream? You overcame it. And now, even if they throw into prison, something happens. The Lord was with Joseph in the prison. And the keeper of the prison had to do something. Bible says in verse 21, God gave Joseph favor. The Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. And he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison. Why? Whatever they did there, it was his doing. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority. Because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. Remember, Potiphar's house, Bible says, whatever Joseph did, prospered. Until a title was given to him, a successful man. Now in the prison, can you imagine right in the prison, where they meant that you suffer. The dream follows you there. The faith of the dream follows there. And whatever you do, it prospers. Until the keeper of the prison has over the post to you because you still carry the dream. I saw other people bowing to him, to me. Not because I have made myself that way. God has confirmed it by his dream and his mouth. And now I pray in the name of Jesus. You have favor with God in business. Favor with God in the altar of the church. Favor with God. Favor with God. I pray that overcome the test. The test. It was applied to Adam and Eve. That brought the whole humankind into problem. Because our father and our dad fell. I give God praise. The Bible says the second Adam has overcome what made the first Adam to be slave. And we are product of second Adam, Jesus Christ. He overcame the last of the flesh, the last of the the last of the oh, 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 the last of the eyes, and the product of flesh. We need this. We the Bible says we did not receive the spirit of the world. We received the spirit of Christ, and the spirit that we have, Christ to God our Father. We have the spirit that overcame. Not only temptation and test, the spirit of Christ in us overcomes, overcame even death. That's why we will win when we are alive. And when they bury us, we will also overcome death by Christ who called us. May God bless you as you get through the test with God's favor. I pray if you are now undergoing some tests, overcome them. Promotion is coming later. That wherever you go, even if they throw into prison, favor you for you there. I release this touch on you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.